Um, well, you know, people will come and they say, can you do a quick flight for us? <laughs> And we tell them there's no such thing as a quick um, flight. It takes us several weeks to do, to set up for a flight, especially if it's one that we haven't flown before. Together for this airplane, we have to have at least six crew members, plus we have to have at least one person from the physical science laboratory. They have to have a, a what they call a mission commander. If we're flying in national airspace, then we have to have visual observers and we have to have the right weather. We're really picky about the weather. We need clear skies and as little wind as possible. The people that we're flying for want to do get um, stereo imagery and they are going to get 2.5 centimeter resolution. We're going to fly at 500 feet above ground level so they're going to get a little bit better resolution than what we usually have. Well, I don't know if you were up there or nearby when we were having all the, all the challenges <laughs> on um, when we were flying on Wednesday, where the wind was blowing the airplane and we were having to retask it continuously, oh, really? just to because it was missing. It was so windy; it was missing the flight lines. That was probably one of the craziest flights we've ever done. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't say that. Um, it was very challenging up there. Uh, the winds were coming from the south. They were real strong, but uh, they were strong enough to blow the aircraft off the, out of the flight plan. And it was just um, doing unusual uh, maneuvers to compensate for that. So it was saving itself rather than our data. What can I say? about doing this stuff? Or? Uh, the challenge. Yeah? Yeah. There, it's always challenging. It's always something new. Even on flights that um, we do repeat flights mm -hmm. several times a year, same plots, um, you know, for several years. And um, even though we have flown these before, there is always something different.